नमस्ते वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ मशीन लर्निंग प्रैक्टिस कोर्स इन दिस वीडियो विल डिस्कस फीचर सिलेक्शन ए पी आईज इन एस के लर्न देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ फीचर सिलेक्शन ए पी आईज वन इज फिल्टर बेस्ड एंड सेकेंड इज रैपर बेस्ड समटाइम्स इन रियल वर्ल्ड डेटा सेट ऑल फीचर्स डू नॉट कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट वेल इन अप टूवर्ड्स फिटिंग अ मॉडल the features that do not contribute significantly can be removed it leads to decrease in size of the data set and hence the computational cost of fitting a model sklearn.feature_selection module provides many apis to accomplish this task these are some of the classes provided in the feature_selection module variance threshold select k best select percentile get generic univariate select then rfe which is recursive feature elimination recursive feature elimination with cross validation select from model and sequential feature selector there are some more feature selectors based on trees and kernels which will be covered in later weeks when we study kernels and trees the first four feature selection methods are basically the filter methods the variance threshold select k best select percentile and generic univariate select are filter based feature selection method whereas the other four methods on the right hand side which is recursive feature elimination recursive feature elimination with cross validation select from model and sequential feature selector are wrapper based methods let's look at filter based feature selection methods so the first one is variance threshold which removes feature with low variance what happens sometimes is in a feature in a in a feature column or in a single feature all values are are very close to each other or they are like a single value so such features have very low variance and therefore it is not so useful in training so what variance threshold does it is it removes all features with variance below a certain threshold and this variance threshold is provided by the user as an argument so by default it removes a feature which has the same value that is zero variance the univariate feature selection selects features based on univariate statistical test there are three apis for univariate feature selection select k best select percentile and generic univariate select The select k best removes all but the k highest scoring feature. Select percentile removes all but a user specified highest scoring percentage of features. And generic univariate select performs univariate feature selection with a configurable strategy which can be found via hyperparameter search. Sklearn provides one more class of univariate feature selection methods that work on common univariate statistical tests for each feature. There is select FPR that selects features based on a false positive rate test. Then there is select FDR that select features based on an estimated false discovery rate. And then there is select FWE that selects feature based on family wise error rate. let's look at univariate scoring functions so each univariate each univariate feature selection requires a scoring function to score each feature there are three classes of scoring functions that are provided in sklearn feature_selection module the first one is mutual information second one is chi square and the third one is f statistics mutual information and f statistics can be used in both classification and regression problem 
mutual information is represented as mutual underscore info underscore regression for regression problems and mutual underscore info underscore classif for the classification problem. Naive statistics is represented as f underscore regression for regression problems and f underscore classif for classification problems. So there is a regression and classif suffix for regression and classification respectively. Whereas the chi-square method can only be used in classification problem. It goes by the string chi2. So there are these three main scoring functions that we'll be using with univariate feature selectors. Let's look at what is mutual information. So mutual information is a concept from information theory. It measures dependency between two variables. It returns a non-negative value that represents the dependency. If mutual information is zero, that means the two variables are independent. They are independent of each other. And if there is a high mutual information score, that indicates that there is higher dependency between two variables. The chi-square, on the other hand, measures dependence between two variables. We typically compute chi-square statistics between a non-negative feature and a class label. The non-negative features could be Boolean features or frequencies. The higher chi-square value indicates that features and labels are likely to be correlated and such features that are correlated with labels are highly useful for uh, highly useful features for classification uh, problems. Hence we choose to include such kind of features with higher chi-square values. So mutual information and chi-squared feature selection is recommended for sparse data. So we'll focus on mainly mutual information and chi-square for feature selection. We'll not discuss F statistics further in this course. Let's look at univariate feature selectors. Select k-best, select percentile and generic univariate select. So the first one, let's look at the concrete example of select k-based. So you can see that here we have instantiated select k-based object with chi-square as the scoring function and we want k equal to 20 which is we want to select 20 best features based on chi-square scoring function. And then we apply fit underscore transform method on the feature matrix and the label vector and we obtain a transform feature matrix. So this one selects 20 best features based on chi-square scoring function. These are small code snippet for select percentile. We instantiate object of select percentile class, specify chi-square as a scoring function and, and specify that we want top 20% features. And we apply fit underscore transform with feature matrix and label vector as arguments to obtain a transform feature matrix. So this code snippets selects top 20 percentile based features based on chi-square scoring function. We can specify the same thing as select k-best with generic univariate select. Here we instantiate an object of generic univariate select with chi-square as a scoring function, the mode as k-best mode and the parameter is 20. So this is the parameter of the k-best method which will help us select 20 best features. Then we apply fit underscore transform method on the, on the feature matrix and the label vector to obtain a transform feature matrix. So this code snippet selects 20 best feature based on chi-square scoring function just like the select k-best and these are two equivalent ways of specifying the same things. 
So in generic univariate select, we can use other modes like percentile, which is the default mode in generic univariate select. Then there is k underscore best, or you can use FPR, FDR, and FWE. So these are some of the modes that we discussed in the earlier slides. So this generic univariate select code snippet selects set of features based on a feature selection mode and a scoring function. That is, this is the mode and this is a scoring function. The first argument is the scoring function. Second argument is the mode. The modes could be percentile, which is by default, or k underscore best, FPR, FDR, and FWE. And the parameter arguments takes value corresponding to the mode. So whatever is the mode, this parameter is passed to this particular mode. And then this parameter and this mode is used to calculate the, the best possible features. Finally, one word of caution for you, do not use regression feature scoring function with a classification problem. It will lead to useless results. So that's it from the filter based feature selection method. In the next video, we'll discuss wrapper based feature selection methods.